Apollo's console application is the key to removing latency while recording, allowing artists to hear themselves through UAD effects in real time. Console's aux channels give you a quick and easy way to set up time-based effects like reverb or delay that you can monitor without latency, giving artists inspiring sound in their headphones so you can capture their best performance. Using time-based effects on console's aux channels instead of directly on input channels has a few benefits. Not only can you send multiple inputs to the same effect, but the effect won't be committed into the audio that gets recorded into your DAW, so you're able to make changes or apply different effects later. Using effects on aux channels also gives you full control over the amount of effects in your headphones and monitors by letting you adjust the effect level in the monitor mix separate from the cue mixes. To show you how this works, I have a singer here that I'll be recording through a mic connected to the first input on my Apollo. I have a few plugins loaded on the input channel and I'm happy with how it sounds, but it's a little dry. Take a listen. Run for the dark, nowhere else will you find the light. Let's use an aux channel to add some reverb to these vocals in order to give the vocalist a more polished sound in their headphones. To set this up, first click the aux button on the right side of the console window to expose the aux channels. Each aux channel has four inserts where you can load effects. For the best results, we recommend only using time-based effects like reverbs or delays here. Any other types of effects, like EQ or compression, should be loaded directly on your input channels. Click on one of the insert slots and select an effect. For this example, I'm going to load a reverb onto the first aux channel. Once the plugin is loaded, click on the send section of the input channel that you want to hear the effect on and use the corresponding aux fader to control how much of the signal is sent to the effect. In this case, raising the send level will give me more reverb on the vocal and lowering the level will give me less. Each aux channel can also be set to pre-fader or post-fader, which determines how signal is routed to the aux from input channels. When set to pre, sends are taken pre-fader and pre-mute, meaning that even if an input channel is muted or has its fader turned all the way down, its signal will still be sent to the aux if the send level is turned up. When set to post, sends are taken post-fader and post-mute, so adjusting the input channel's fader will affect the send level, and muting the channel will also mute the send. As soon as I raise the send level, the vocalist can hear the reverb in their headphones in real time. Take a listen. Run for the dark, nowhere else will you find the light. You're brave. Run for the dark, nowhere else will you find the light. Great, the vocalist now has a more natural sounding mix in their headphones that will help them get in the zone and be more comfortable behind the mic. Now that I'm ready to record, let's say I want to capture the reverb from the aux channel into my DAW so that I can reference it later, or even use it in the final mix. The aux channels have their own inputs in the Apollo driver, so they can easily be recorded alongside other inputs. On my system, aux 1 corresponds to input channels 7 and 8, as shown on the IO matrix panel in console settings. So all I need to do is set up a second audio track in my DAW, and set the inputs to 7 and 8 to capture the reverb separately from the vocal. Alternatively, let's say I want to copy these reverb settings into my DAW so I can use them as a starting point for my mix. To do this, I'll first open the plugin on the console aux channel and click on the folder icon in the bottom left corner. From this menu, I can save the current settings as a preset that I can recall in my DAW, or I can simply click Copy Settings. Next, I'll load the same plugin onto a return track in my DAW and click the folder icon again. From here I can recall any preset that I have saved, or I can click Paste Settings to use the settings that I just copied from console. Now when I turn up the send level on my vocal track, I'll hear the same reverb that I used while recording. That's all it takes to add classic and inspiring effects to your inputs while recording, all without latency so the artist can stay connected to the music and perform at their best. Give it a try on your next recording, and make sure to subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel for more tips and tricks.